The Briscoes Group believes it was justified in taking the government wage subsidy but says it's now paid back all $11.5 million of it because sales are looking good. The retail group that also includes Rebel Sport and Living and Giving took the first round of subsidy based on a 30% drop in revenue for a specified period but says after things started to pick up, the board made a decision to repay the money. The move also follows heavy criticism of the Briscoes Group and other corporates who took millions in subsidies despite still returning large profits. Briscoe's Group Board Chair Dame Roseanne Mayo explains why it took the wage subsidy in the first place. When we applied for the money back there in March, April, we had no stores open whatsoever. And it was exactly the right thing to do to apply. That was the government's intent and we're very grateful for them. But that was the right thing to do. But as we started to see the emergence of our improved results, then we decided and started looking at it again back in June or so, monitoring our numbers. So, Dame Rosanne, who is the we who started? The we is the board. So it was was the board who drove this and made the decision? Well, in part. When we talk about the board, we have an executive team of four, including Rod, and... We listened to their input really carefully. So it was the board, the three non-executive directors, Rod as managing director, and our three key executives. Do you think you were slow in doing this? There has been a lot of public criticism, and you will be aware of it, Mm. and on social media and commentary, saying that you took this money, you did pay a dividend to shareholders, and you were making a profit. I know you say it was the right thing to do at the time, But were you too slow in turning this around? I don't believe so. You know, you have a responsibility to your company, to your employees, to your shareholders. I think it's been very easy and easy. What about the taxpayers, though, Dan Rose? Well, that's exactly what we're... Because if you took your... if you Did you put your responsibility to your shareholders ahead of perhaps your your duty to taxpayers who were digging deep and paying this money out? No, no. You have to look at all stakeholders as perhaps a better word. We have to look at that. The intent of the government, which was to keep companies online and to make them survive and survive even better than could have been anticipated, which is what we did. We were fully entitled. There are many companies that took it that probably weren't entitled, but we were shut for 50 days. We needed that support. We wanted to keep all of our people. So, no, I don't think it was wrong. We only applied the once. Yep, first round. First round, that was it. So, Nothing was applied for so since. You, you met the criteria, did you, absolutely for the wage subsidy, which was the 13% reduction in income over that certain period of time. Yeah. You met that on projections or on no, reality? On, no, no. And the requirement was that it was on, for our viewpoint, that was on reality. That was actually the numbers that were Were you down. still making a profit, though? Even though you had a dip in, in what was coming in, no, were you still I making believe, a profit? No, I can't. I'm not the CFO and I haven't got those numbers in front of me. But certainly uh, in that first quarter, and remember we received this money relatively early. In, this was in April in that first quarter. Um, it was... It's easy now to forget how tough it was. Yeah, Roger, you know, and I Roger th- got a massive got a massive dividend though, didn't he? You well, know? Yeah, the, not then he didn't. No, but uh, he has. He's been pocketing significant dividends over a period of time. So your critics would look at this and argue: if you've had fat books in the past, and if you've done well in the past, your business suck it up and weather the storm yourself. Don't put your hand out to the taxpayer. What do you say to them? I think that's completely unreasonable. He is a shareholder in his own right and deserves that. As I said this morning, it would be completely inappropriate to ask one shareholder not to share in what the company has achieved by way of dividends. You're overlooking the fact that we cancelled $28 million for year end, for what had been a good year. And subsequently, at the end of the year in this quarter, we decided for the first half of this year we could pay a dividend. We did. But, um, you know, it's, it's disappointing that when your people have worked so hard, what's been achieved by our team during this time is just remarkable. No store closes, 
outside of lockdown. No permanent store closes. All employees paid other than the executive and board who decided to forgo salary and uh, a reduction of 20% in that time. Did you stop paying rent at any sites? We took, in some instances, no, I don't think we stopped at any, but we had rent reductions like others did. So, no... This has been unusual times. It's easy now that we're out of lockdown to look back and to have all of these views on how one should have run a business. I'm just, on behalf of the world, really, really proud. These guys have achieved more in terms of roll out of click and collect, what's been achieved with online. It's been remarkable. And some people would say... That is why you shouldn't have taken the money because you had those platforms available to you. No, no, we You didn't. had an option no. to use online sales and also homewares, sporting goods um, and, and living living goods, which you specialise in, are the ones that, well, their sales have done pretty well through this Do time. You, it's very easy in retrospect, Lisa, to look back and say, be righteous about it and to say that. At the time of that first lockdown, we had no access to stores. We simply didn't have the online facilities we had. I think we had two stores that could do click and collect. Now, all of our stores do click and collect. What our team have done and achieved in this in recent months has been amazing, which is now we're feeling ready to pay it back. So have you paid it back? Yes. And what what amount did you pay back exactly? The full amount of the wage subsidy. 11 and a half million. Yes, yeah. Okay. Is any part of that decision because of a public backlash? Um, it's You can't ignore the backlash, but that is not. The board started deliberating this in June when we got through the first two quarters, and it was a matter of finding the right time. You know, I just feel genuinely sorry for our people who have worked so hard, who have done so much in this time, that they have copped some of the criticism without people fully understanding what was done and forgoing that early dividend, what was forgone in terms of salaries by senior staff. That's been disappointing to me. But look, I understand the tension that has been around both socially and uh, and economically. It's been a hard time for New Zealand. Did MSD audit you or approach you about the money you had? No. No questions asked from from the government around your taking the subsidy. I'm wondering, what do you think of other companies who are in a similar position to you, who are still holding on to their wage subsidies when they're making profits? Should they keep it? I'm not going to judge them. That's what, as a board, you have to decide. That's what you, as sort of leaders in the company, must decide in terms of brand, the responsibility to your employees, the responsibility to shareholders. No, I'm not going to judge anyone else. I don't know their books well enough. I don't know their culture well enough. I just know that this was the right thing for us to do for Briscoe's as a company and the right time to do it. But as a seasoned operator yourself and as a board member, would this be something that you would think should be front of mind? Of course it's front of mind. People must be considering and do I don't believe there'd be a single company among the listed companies or many other privately owned companies that haven't thought, is this the right thing to be doing? No, is this the right thing to pay back would be the question, Of course it? it would be the question, but I'm not going to judge anyone else on that basis. And that was Briscoe's Group Board Chair, Dame Roseanne Mayo.